there's a significant update in the latest version of Adobe InDesign that features AI capabilities. The new AI-powered text-to-image feature allows you to use text prompts to generate images and add them directly to InDesign layouts. In this tutorial, let's walk through the time-saving feature, which uses Adobe Firefly to generate images and artwork. So let's jump right in and get started. Before we get started, we'll have to open the brand new text to image panel. This can be located by going to window and then text to image beta. Go ahead and click that. You can see I already have mine open here. Now I'm working on a recipe layout and I have an image frame. I'd like to choose an image that matches the recipe, spicy black bean tacos with pico de gallo. Now instead of going to search for a stock image, we now have the ability to add text prompts to generate an AI image, which is powered by Adobe Firefly. So as a first step, let's add our text prompt. With the frame selected, just type in the text prompt that you want. In this case, I'm going to type in spicy black bean taco text max plated on a white marble table. Let's choose the content type. In this case, we do want photo. The aspect ratio, you could choose one of the presets or choose frame dimensions. I'm gonna go ahead and choose frame dimensions and then simply click generate. That'll take a few moments to generate three variations and let's have a look. There's our first variation, our second and third. I think I like this one the best, so I'm gonna choose that one. Remember, if you're not happy with the variations, you can refine the text prompt or simply just click generate again to generate three more. Let's have a look at the next three. Here's the first, the second, and the third. They keep getting better. I actually like this one now the best, so I'm gonna stick with that one. Next, let's take a look at how to generate art instead of a photo using the same technique. Just keep in mind this will still be generated as a raster image. The first text prompt we used in the previous example was pretty straightforward. However, in this fictional Arizona tourism web banner that I have on my screen, I want to be a little bit more descriptive and specific in the text prompt. Now again, I'm going to click on the image frame, which you can see on the left hand side of this web banner, and click on text to image, and I'm just going to type in vintage camper driving down a winding road in a desert with cactuses, comma mountains, and a dramatic sunset. Now the reason I'm being more descriptive, more specific here, is so that there's more detail in the artwork. Under the content type, let's switch it from photo to art. And once again, because our shape here is custom, I'm just going to choose frame dimensions and let's click generate. You can see it generating there and let's see what it comes up with. Here are the three variations. There's our first, second, and third. I think I like the second one the best, so I'm gonna stick with that one. If you prefer to work with the contextual taskbar, you can go ahead and minimize the text to image panel, go up to window and choose contextual taskbar. Here, you have the same features as you would with the text to image panel. You can write your text prompt. You can go through the variations. And of course, you can regenerate for more results. So what do you think about the new text to image feature in Adobe InDesign? Is it something that you'd implement in your own InDesign workflow? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care and keep creating.